Cleveland plus seven against the Niners. I think that number's starting to get to a point where you got to consider it. Um, so is it any one of those three games that you're thinking about? Yes, Chad. Is it Cleveland plus seven? <laughs> it is Cleveland plus seven. Big oh balls. Oh my God, week. Simon, you and I are, I feel like you should take me home to meet your mom because I feel like we are in a <laughs> mind meld. Yeah. Our big balls, bet of the week. I'm so excited. I'm so excited because you know I bet the Browns plus five and a half and I, <laughs> I didn't buy out of it. And because I just kept feeling like, I'm not convinced. Like this is this is a bad spot for the Niners. What you said about it being a scheduled loss resonated with me. And this defense is just too good. This is going to be a very hard game for San Francisco to win big. Fuck, I love betting the, the Browns are plus seven. <laughs> Definition of a trap. And we talk all the time, like, not that I'm the greatest at spotting these things, but I'm getting pretty damn good at it. And when I get other pros that come in and tell me it's the exact same thing they saw, yeah, it makes you feel great. And then you get the numbers that back it up, which it's all about. I know I want to be like, oh, it, it really does matter with Watson. Of course it does. Would I rather have Watson out there than P.J.? Yes, P.J. was in the XFL a couple years ago. Like, this is just – we're in a different world here. Watson, say what you want about him. I feel like he's been better this year. Like, every game, I feel like he was getting a little better. That's what sucks yeah. so much about that injury where it's like – you kind of saw the old glimmer of old Watts in there. Um, but the biggest thing here is Schwartz. Schwartz defense against Shanahan in his career as a head coach, a DC, he's eight and three straight up against Shanahan's offense. So that means when Shanahan was an offensive coordinator, when he was a head coach, he's eight, he's three and eight straight up against Schwartz. And it's that technique that Schwartz run, the wide nine. It's really good against the Shanahan running scheme. So if you look about how this defense, Schwartz's defense has done against McVay, how they've done against uh, the 49ers, how they've done, they've done against um, McDaniels down in Miami. Like these guys that run the old Shanahan running scheme, which is 30 years old now. I mean, going way back to those old, early Bronco days, or is it maybe, it might be almost 40 years now, this run scheme. It's really dated. Like there's certain guys like Jim Schwartz where they can, they can have their defensive scheme beat this right he's got the players to beat this defense so another game that we talked weather you can be all over that under as well if you want if you're scared off by this number but this is such a big number and the public is all over it chad like i hate it because it's pj that's my that's the only thing i hate about this where it's like if this was watson this would have been my one of my biggest bets of the year like this was a scheduled loss and the public is so fucking stupid like when that number was three on Sunday, I mean, you joked about it where it's like, I'm taking this number just because, you know, the, the 49ers might win. This might this number might blow up. The number has moved so much now. And I agree that it moved because of Watson and he might be out. And that's a six point move or a seven point move. Like that's how much he's worth to Cleveland. And we could walk into one of the worst bets of our lives where we're taking a backup QB against probably the best defense on football right now, this 49ers team. But you have to trust Jim Schwartz in this defense. Like, this is such a good spot to fade Brock Purdy on the road in bad weather in this 49ers team against a Browns team that no one believes in. Like, I'm going through the books right now, and different books have it 95% of the bets, 96% 96 of the tickets on the 49ers team here. Yes. So, hate it, people. Hate this bet because we don't know what's going to happen with Watson but well, you got to take these points. Like if he gets cleared, this number drops back down to what Chad talked about. This drops down back to five, four and a half, most likely. So we'll, we'll, maybe we'll get a bad number here at seven. I don't think we will. At worst, it gets up seven and a half by game time, eight maybe, but we can just buy those, get those points as well once it goes up. So gra grabbing the seven right now, just in case Watson does practice today and this number starts dropping. It's just, we, we, we kind of knew Monday night this was going to be one of our bets. As the week has gone along here and I get more numbers and I get more people calling me about it. We have to be all over this Cleveland number of people. It's just, this is such a big number in a game that is such a letdown spot for this 49ers team. I love our YouTube uh, watchers and listeners, but 68% of the people in the chat voted for the Niners at minus seven. That just locked it in for us in the contest. Browns plus seven. 